Hey, it's good to see you. Come on in. We're going to talk about shaving soaps today. We have our second soap today from Zingari Man. It's a beautiful morning with the barber shop duet. Hi, I'm Marcus Klinger with Klinger Vocal Studio. And I'm Sarah Vincent with Sarah Vincent Virtual Pilates. But on Wednesdays and Saturdays... We are the Barbershop Duet. Hey, come on in. It's good to see you. I wanted to make sure that I mentioned, after doing the Aqua de Boracay episode, it was the first time that I got that feeling that I wanted to get an aftershave splash. Yeah. And it was my first one. So... This is what it looks like. That's how you'll know if we were particularly beguiled is a couple weeks later, uh, Splash might show up here on the show. <laughs> it does. And so I actually, when I wore it, it smelled really nice. And I love how some dance together, like the one of the, show, the shave soap scent compared to this. Yes. And as I was wearing it, it would just kind of be my constant reminder. And right. I forgot that I'd put it on. And when I woke up the next morning, there was just a little left. And I got a whiff and I was like, love oh, that. yeah. So I have actually really enjoyed having an aftershave that Splash. That happened with me with the master. Speaking of Zingari right. Man, I woke up the next morning and it was just a little bit with me yeah, and I love the spices, that. spices, just that little enough to remind you. Yeah. yeah so we're something. having fun adding splashes to our uh, right. liquor. Yeah. So we are very excited about the soap that we are going to do today because it was a birthday gift for it Sarah. It was. So we were in a live and someone piffed this gift card, which yes. means pay it forward if yes, you didn't know. Yes, there's a beautiful tradition in the shaving community of uh, lots of gift giving in the lives and things like that. And if it's a scent that you already have or something right. you already have, you you are encouraged to pay it forward and give it to somebody else. And so so you'll we were say, the lucky receivers. Pip of it that. to Jason. Or something. Yeah. yeah. So um, then in that same chat, we asked what we should get because we'd only done the master. Right. So we wanted to know what people would prefer. And this was definitely at the top of their list. Yeah, there was a bit of discussion, but yes. this was seemed to be the one that came out on top for us to do. So we're so excited. Let's meet this so. <laughs> Right, so Zingari Man are my favorite descriptions so far of the soaps. So if you don't mind, oh please, I'm gonna take a swing yes. at this one. <laughs> Hands gripping the lighthouse railing, a man peers out over a sea, growing restless as an evening storm approaches. The waves are jagged and dark, and while they do little more than hungrily lap at the sides of the boat of the old and wizened captains. The danger they might pose to a young fool with a raft keeps the man's eyes trained. The sea air, alive with electricity, feels almost a part of him. The water, the salt, the fresh life of the ocean, the almost sweet warmth of the lighthouse lamp, as he wears them like a cologne. And as too may you, with this aquatic fragrance, named for such a man as him. The Watchman. My goodness. Ooh, wow, that's that fantastic. paints a picture. I really forgot how much the master story led us like, down that hole of yes. watching. Like, yes, and I love how it plants just a little seed into our mind's eye, just a little power of suggestion as to what we're about to experience and what glasses to wear when we do it. Right, so. it just reminds you of like that they are artists behind. We, right. we get the soap, but there is an artist behind it, and that's the story they want us to get. Right. Oh, let's unbox this one. All right, so let's see. You open it we, up. We did kind of break the seal to get our Yes, I got master. the master splash. I wanted it right away, so I took it up. But we didn't look at the soap. No, we did not. Right. Oh, and we have a sample hey. for y'all! This is a sample of The Watchmen. So if you are here on YouTube during our messages section in the live chat, just put your hand up and we'll send this out to you. Forget that they have their own tissue paper. Yeah, that's cool, right? Zingari Man tissue paper. Oh, there it is. Oh, I love the labels from Zingari Man because they light yeah. up in specific places. So check out the lighthouse <laughs> itself. It lights up. Up the lights from it's the lighthouse. It's hard to get it across, but it's also in the water. There's like <laughs> silver at the bottom that's reflecting. That is so cool. Wow. I love this. Stormy oh. and dark seas. I cannot wait to watch, but let's have our first impression. <laughs> okay, you ready? There we go. That story's playing in my head. I know. I can't wait. It's so clean and beautiful. I mean, it's it's dark too, but it's clean. To oh, you gotta smell it. Okay, ready? 
Okay. You ain't even have you don't, not you. <laughs> wow. It, but <laughs> I know it says dark, but I get sweet kind of at the beginning. Oh, There's something wow. sweet about it. Yes. Yes. And, and bracing and beautiful and cold. And oh, I definitely get the ocean in this. Do you? Yeah. It, oh. It's funny because usually aquatics take me to like, you know, the Bahamas or something right, more beachy. Right, this... I'll start out with like flowers and trees and right. stuff. Nope, this is in the middle of an ocean alone on a boat. Right. I don't know how you captured the sea the, like, in this. Rock? I... But it's there's not... nothing else to help it out. It's like in the middle of the ocean and you've got to start there. You've got to start with the waves. You've got to start with the ocean water before you add everything else. And she did i'm not but sure how it's all the good smells it's not like like the seaweedy right. smell or something like right because we live near the bay trail here in san francisco and at low tide it's a little uh, mm -hmm. no this is not out of your head this is no. totally different because there was a beachy one that had organic notes organic material right. in the scent notes but I no don't, this I... is clean cold ocean salt Water. How mm -hmm. did she get the salt in but this? But there's there's something sweet and and citrusy maybe oh. that but it it's still like it's darker somehow. It's not yes. in your face it's tropical. It's super light and super dark at the same time, much like an ocean is. I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Like I, I oh. it's almost like there's sun or light still on the water. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, and I don't know how she just makes me feel cold without any menthol smell, but it's just a cold, bracing sea feeling. Oh, I love this. It's still so fresh. It's like straight off the water. Oh, man. There there are just some soaps that I feel instantly protective of. Ah, uh, yeah. Because I this get that. scent is so me. And this is one of those that and, just. And I don't. I know it's we our whole point of doing the show is to try and pick it apart and get the layers, but it's right. almost it's hard because you appreciate what you first get off the puck. Like, right. hey, that's all. I'd wow. rather just have this beautiful thing swirling around me than dive into the particular scent notes yet. It's oh. there's spices too, or like woody, barky. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like and, you and know I, you're outside. Right. And for me, for my brain, it's like you took the actual smell of the middle of a cold, bracing ocean and you turned up the saturation so that everything yes. just got brighter. Everything just got more imaginative. Everything got turned up. And that's what this is. And this is giving me deja vu oh. in the best way of the Soren Over California ride. And when the orange right. covey part... Right. overlaps the water or like the winery there's something like yeah or when For you first walk into the ride we're not know? the disney fans that we are there <laughs> is a beautiful motion simulator that disney has where they fly you over the malibu beach at ah, sunset yeah, right. and when they do they pump out this incredible smell that's not meant to be like theme parky or cartoony no, no, no. it's it's, it's real. meant to be a real smell of ocean like foam and sea waves and they're not the same no but i get how you would think that because those are the only two times i've smelled the ocean where you go that's the ocean right but it's it's an it's a welcoming ocean smell yes. like you it just yeah. oh, it's it's refreshing and comforting. Makes me want to go find a lighthouse and bed and breakfast. While being a little dark <laughs> and mysterious. Oh, wow. Do we try to lather and see what that brings? Let me get a little shrimp. Oh, nothing here. I, I went with the blue bowl only because it reminded me a little of the ocean. Yeah. And look at this pour. It is absolutely beautiful. I, I hope she's not snoring too loud. She just really wanted to help us she, today. Yeah, sometimes she just wants to be on the show like Lucy, right? So we just let her on the she, show. They wanted to help a little. Yeah. That's oh, all. you need some bougie water. I, I got a little on the brush. Oh, okay, so while I'm doing this, do we dare look at what the website has? Ooh, let's look at the original set notes. Okay, so you ready? It okay. starts with notes of stormy air and dark seas. Okay, so here we go. Okay. Top notes. Soft, woody seashore. That's what it's called. Ooh. <laughs> Love wow. it. That is literally what it says. That's nice. that's the scent. Yep. And then on, on top, lime. <laughs> oh, see, that's the citrusy, maybe. Balsamic berries. Huh. Yeah. What do those right? smell like? Oh, I, love crazy. it. Crazy. That's got to be like a, a darker, spicier right. scent. I know. Like I want to smell it. Anise, which I think is kind of a licorice smell. Oh, I get that a little. And I love, I love when they do this. So the scent note just says, storm air. I love that. I mean, we're not going to say it's not. Yeah, That's, yeah, it just wakes up your imagination. I mean, it could be anything, but I but love it's funny. it because it it's so say, descriptive. Like, aqua 
ocean. No, it says storm the seashore, air. Seashore, storm air, and ozone. Ah, right. Oh, so somebody in the community who was super smart said Trying it's kind of like that smell it, yeah. that a copy machine has when it's plugged in and turned on. It kind of produces a little bit of an ozone. It does. Like if you go into a copy room, it does kind of have smell, that. Right? Huh. And then mids. What do we got? Patchouli. My arch nemesis, but I love but it, it here. It disappears, yeah. Yeah. And then violet. Ah, yes, a little floral. Just a perfect floral. Berries. Berries. I do. Yeah. yeah. That makes more sense now, the sweet, but and it the wasn't too sweet. Berries are listed twice balsamic berries and berries, so maybe two separate right, a different type colors of, of berry. Grape. Huh. I smell grape in this. And Maybe that's why I fantastic. was thinking of on the ride, they pass over a winery. And there oh, is a little bit yes. of like a something. Yeah, right. Interesting. And then let's see. Uh, uh, woods. woods. I definitely get that. Jasmine. I like that they were careful with the florals so you don't identify them as florals. No, it's not like rose in your face. It's no, just enough No, it's just to a way to it. add a little sweetness. Right, right. Okay, the base. What do we got? Earth. Huh. Yeah. But I we said, it. you can tell you're outside immediately. Oh. Musk. Yes, and that musk is important in here somewhere because yeah. I think it's the fog. When yeah, I smell totally. that musk, I sense a little bit of the fog and a little bit of or the Or like, you know, lighthouses right? are been there forever. Like there's right. something about that age to them. Kind of spooky. Patchouli again. again. So mid notes and base notes. Again, I wonder if there's two kinds of patchouli. Right, I, we love the one. Vanilla. Nice. Orange blossom. Yeah, that's another maybe citrusy kind of vibe. Ambergris. Grease? Ambergris. What's ambergris? Yeah. And sandalwood, our old friend. So wow. woody woods at the first part, but sandalwood, like maybe wood was the lighthouse is built of, yep. or like you know. And you, y'all, you totally get that this was crafted with eighty colors, not just two. Right. This Immediately. is an eighty color soap, and it. But is you're not just overwhelmed. Beguiling. It's just no. complex enough no. that you're like trying to figure it out, but you don't get hit by like too much nope. at all. And it's the kind of thing for me that if somebody walks by and they're wearing this, your response is not. Ooh, Ooh, that's yeah. nice. Your response is, ooh, hey, Where excuse me, excuse come? me, what yeah. are you wearing? Where'd you get that? What's that called? That's this. It's that good and Scroll that unique. Scroll down just a little because I forgot oh, yeah, this part. A... Oh, this fragrance was brought to life by perfumer Sean Maher of Maher Olfactive. Because I remember that for the master too, right? Right. And I, I, I think I remember hearing from a couple people that Sean wasn't doing it as much anymore, but that okay. his scents are still oh, super I'm glad coveted we got this and one. just beautiful. I mean, we don't talk about lather. but No, we holy, don't talk about lather on the show. But holy moly. Y'all... Look at this lather from Zingari Man. I just and I remember use that about it, like, the master. Right now. <laughs> is that the, the base for the master was just I forgot, super yeah. shaved. So I'm okay, excited about this. Okay, you didn't even smell too. this part I'm yet. Not, I'm excited. Okay, smell that next to this now. Oh, there's just more. There's just so much more. How do you know? Because smell this. It seems so. I mean, it's at first it was. Oh, more of the. That's her favorite note. More of the woods, more of the sand is here. Yeah. Oh, this is great. I don't know how you can get. Brighter and darker. Uh, uh, like, like it just seems like that all of the tears, you know, like yep. they just, they got this way. Everything broadened out. And, you know, here's a good, I, I was searching for a word for yeah. this. Uh, because some soaps just are. Ready? Clever. This ah, is really yes. clever. So, like, when you're watching a fantastic comedian or a great actor or a great musician and they do something that's just like, <laughs> nice. That's yeah. clever, mm -hmm. y'all. Like, just shows the mastery they have of their craft. This scent is super clever. Because you know it probably was not just ocean water distilled. <laughs> they had to imagine what an ocean smelled like. They had to imagine what a spooky lighthouse right? smelled like in a storm. I feel like we know smelled like <sighs> the actual watchman that lives and breathes and yeah. runs the lighthouse and does all the logs and the checks. You know, like there's just a story connected immediately. Yeah. And what's cool is I'm not sure how, but usually for me, the mystery is found in the darker notes. But in this soap, the mystery is in the light notes. Do you yeah. smell it? Well, it's it's like right between from middle to light, like how those two dance together. Right. Like the spookiness Something and the lightness in this. Something about the grape 
Right. Maybe flowery business, meeting the ocean. There's something, <laughs> and you're not on a beach. I don't know how you can do that, but it's... No, yeah, get that out of your head. You're not on a beach. You, you can't even beach. see the beach. You are looking for the lighthouse because you are lost in a dark sea. And we're in Northern California, and there's the coast is not far from us, so Highway yeah. 101 you can take. And, and it's cold. It's cold. You smell the fog in the air. Yeah. Like, there is just something different. Mark it, Twain is attributed to saying the coldest winter he ever spent was summer in San Francisco. He probably didn't go. say it, but it's really <laughs> clever. It's clever. It is. Like this is. It fits what we're smelling here. <laughs> <laughs> we have to get to know Heather a little bit because I've seen her in the discords and things, but I'm just a little scared yeah, to reach out still. Yeah, this is what she comes up with. Wow. It's like a celebrity. <laughs> but but um, do we dare try ride? to take this a little deeper? Yes, please. I don't know how you so perfectly create the smell of the ocean without the actual ocean. Yeah, if I hadn't read the description or the title or seen the label, yes. if I just smelled this. Yes, good point. Yes, this is, and I don't know how, because 99% of the time I feel like if I put an ocean smell in front of somebody, their first thing would not necessarily be yeah, ocean. Yeah, like picture going down the candle aisle and reading ocean mist. Yeah, right? It's, you get you get other scents, flowery scents, other things. They're trying to get things. this. But they don't. This, this is, is different. different. I feel like if I put this under the nose of 10 people, eight of them would go, it's the ocean, isn't it? Right. But not know how. Right. Like, fantastic. Oh. And that's what lights up my imagination is I go, how is this making me think of the ocean so well? Right. Like, what's it? How is it, it doing it's, that? It's so comforting still somehow and yeah. like friendly. I smell the rocks around the lighthouse, like the rocks right? that your raft is about to dash itself on. That <laughs> see if you smell those. Well, like the cold rocks. It is, but they're wet. They're cold. They're damp. They. Uh, mm -hmm. I just want to keep doing the re whiff and be like, oh. I know. Yeah. Well, now what do I get? <laughs> Let me say a, a little secret, a little uh, insight into my personal uh, preferences here yes I, I like a stronger scent intensity um i don't know it's just me but i i like to still be able to smell a scent on me an hour after i, I shave mm -hmm. and this is at my perfect intensity it's not too strong it's not too light it is absolutely perfect and will be present with me mm -hmm. in my shaving mirror I, oh. I i know we splurged and got the master aftershave we but did. now after spelling this don't you feel like you might want to be able to have I'm, it on you all day? I'm already like, wondering where my iPad is so I could just go order the splash. This is fantastic. It's just one of those smells I feel like you'd want to stay with you. Yeah, I, I'm already sort of a little bit protective of this smell. But while we do love all of our soaps. We and, really do. Yeah. And they, they each have something so cool they're bringing to the table. There are some over which I feel a little protective because this one so perfectly fits my personality. I, I would agree. And everyone. this is one of those. So, And I think that's why I like it immediately is it sort of does oh, fit you. That's very like sweet. It reminds me of something you would totally wear. Yeah, I guess that is why I have sort of instant nostalgia for the few soaps that like like Catalana that make right. me think of you because Aww, when see? I smell it. So. And we're only 40 soaps in, right? Only 40 <laughs> soaps, she says. But yeah, only for, it feels like we barely scratched the surface. This is only our second Zingari Man and there are a few major artisans we still haven't but even touched every yet. time that, you know, we're still surprised. We're still, you know, just completely, Delighted, yeah. You guys, the process is just, it's been so fun and this one just yes. adds that, to that excitement. Like The one reaction we have yet to have for any soap is Meh. Right. No, these are all exciting and wonderful. And I can completely see why everyone in the chat thought we should have this one. It does fit us. Uh, like, it really does. You yeah, know? Yeah, this is a Marcus and Sarah set. I, I, I could, could totally see yeah. you wanting to crawl so in the tub with this. So thank you for all the referrals. You were correct. <laughs> oh, indeed. And you know, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is build a raft, go out into a big winter storm, look Find for the, the lighthouse, lighthouse yeah. and get yeah. your own! <laughs> So, head over to ZingariMan.com where you'll find this and everything else I want in the world. I am back from my shave and it was wonderful. Beyond the scent and the lather was great too. Thank you, Heather, for a wonderful shave. I will definitely be coming back to this soon.
welcome to Messages. Hello. So we want you to be able to experience this scent along with yes. us. So if you are on YouTube right now during the premiere broadcast, just put a little mention, put your hand up, and we'll put this in the mail to you along with a couple of other little samples so that you can experience the Watchmen too. I don't know how this is bracing and refreshing and comforting all at the same time. And it, it, it really I know star, stormy air and dark seas. I like, even smell salt in the sun. I water. know, and but I, it's not like grungy dark. It's a very different. Yeah. You know, it. I, I don't want you to think that just because it says dark seas. It's not. It has no, it's a purpley lighter. dark. It's yeah. not like a dark dark. It's a. It's dark, dark because of the storm. It's not dark because it's where you are. Like dirt dark. It, that's different. Man. And if you get back in time, don't forget your next appointment with the Barbershop Duet. You will definitely smell better just watching. Oh.